Hello and welcome to True Guidance Tarot. I'm Adriana Teodora Dyer. I'm a spiritual medium and intuitive reader and your personal guide to a clearer perspective. Let's get started with your reading, Aries. Um, actually, before I do that, I should say, um, to let you know how this works, I've asked my guides to send a message through the cards that's going to be deeply beneficial and helpful for you this week as you navigate your journey. I'm also going to be doing some advice cards at the end. This was a suggestion from a viewer. And um, so they'll be from a different deck. So be sure to stick around. And I also want to mention at the, this point, if you have Sagittarius energy in your chart, Sagittarius rising or even a Sagittarius moon, I would check out the Sagittarius reading because the cards are unfolding very similar for the two of you. All right, so we've got the hanged man for the energy that the universe sends you this week. This is strongly, at this moment, <laughs> the energy of surrender. That you don't have to have the answers, you don't have to have everything figured out, but you're just, you need to kind of let things be the way they are. Let it be a little bit up in the air. Let it be a little bit nebulous or unknown. Now we've got the knight of, or I'm sorry, the nine of cups for the way you feel about this situation or the way you respond to it. And there's part, there's parts of you that are gratitude, that are happy about the way things are, but there's other parts. I also feel an impatience with this card to get what you've asked for. You know, just like, a, I know we're past the season, but when a little kid asks Santa what they want and they just can't wait to unwrap it underneath the tree and they're so impatient, that's what you're feeling here. You, you're really wanting this, wish that you've put out to the universe like you know i really want this and the universe is saying to you no you just need to kind of wait surrender just let things be right now there's nothing there's no tinkering you need to be doing with your wish there's no redoing of your manifestation there's no more visualizing you need to be doing just wait just hang there and wait but you know of course aries uh rolling stone gathers no moss something <laughs> right We've got the Three of Cups, we've got the Princess of Pentacles, and she's facing the Queen of Swords. Now, you're still trying to figure it out. In the absence of doing anything physically, then your mental side is just like working overtime. It's trying to figure out, okay, well, what, what do I need to do? I, I, like I said, the mental activity is just through the roof here. There's trying to analyze what's already happened. So like, okay, if, if this is what I asked for and now it's coming into place, um, let me see it and let me just make sure and, and check that I've done everything right so far. And let me just check that everything's okay. Do you see how it's, it's kind of this micromanagey energy a little bit because it, there's, it's restless. There's, there's nothing for it to do. And it's trying to, it's trying to justify itself by saying, well, no, but I'm, I'm looking out with my higher mind to make sure that I'm, I'm connected and I'm, I'm doing the right thing. You're, you're trying to think that <laughs> it's something it's not, all of this mental activity. So um, there's also this, this different perspective that you're seeing instead of focusing on the details in front of you, you're also like, over and over and over hitting your mind about, okay, do I have my ideals in place? Do I have my intention lined up? Do I have my visualization of my manifestation okay? Um, this divine connection here, this intuition, and it's like you keep asking those questions. Maybe you also keep asking your intuition over and over and over and over. Do I have it? Am I doing this right? Is it going the right way? And so it's like everything that you can possibly feel that you control, you're trying to control. But what's happening in that process is that you're actually not enjoying the process, the Three of Cups. So instead of going into the party and having a great time with these two, you're standing outside running your mind and running and running and running and running these processes. So, you know, in a literal sense, this may be saying, you know, you need to just chill out with your friends a bit more, chill out with your family and your people a bit more, your loved ones, and have a good time. But it's also a message of enjoying the process. We go back to here, surrendering to the process, understanding that there are some times when you just need to let it be and let it sit. The problem is, is that when you can't see the activity and you need that constant activity, 
there's a fear that nothing's happening, right? But this card is showing up to reassure you that yes, it is happening. But right now it's about enjoying the process. If enjoying the process means forgetting about what you've asked for for now so that you can have a good time doing something else, good time doing something, yeah, okay, that was English. Um, then that's what you need to do. If you need to do something that you just love because you need to do it, even if it's not practical or, or not related to what you're trying to figure out here, you need to go and do that because the enjoyment is what creates the flow, is what unblocks this, right? It's what unblocks the hanged up energy, the hung up energy. It's funny because there's a double message for you. It's saying that this mental processing is actually hanging up the universe. There's with so much of this analyzing going on and so much of this back and forth, like, is it right? Is it wrong? Is it right? Is it wrong? The universe, the universe is kind of like, hey, what? Do, do you want this or not? And it, it kind of clogs the machine. So getting into the flow, enjoying this process or doing something, forcing yourself, it's a lovely word, force yourself to enjoy yourself. Do, do something that you like to do just because it puts you in that flow will actually start this moving. Even though they're not seemingly related, even though they're not seemingly touching, the fun thing about this is this is card number 12, which in numerology is a three. This is your three of cups. That's the only number in this particular spread here. Now look here, we've got the nine. And nine is all of these wishes that you've been asked for coming true. So three times three equals nine, right? So it's the multiplying this energy against itself, squaring this energy actually gives you the flow. It, it brings you in the flow of your desire. So let me show you your advice because it's more confirmation for what I'm saying here. We've got the Cardinal Air, King of Swords, and then the Chariot, which is actually the Cancer card. So all of this is like giving you a little behind the scenes vignette, behind the scenes picture. There is a deep unconscious subconscious forward movement. That's what I see with the blending of the Cancer with the Hanged Man energy in this card, that you are being nurtured and supported. You are moving forward. And that the King of Swords here is the universe responding to that particular decision which you've made. It's, it's got you. It's going the right way. You notice her sword is pointing towards the heaven and his is completely straight up and down. It's a pure channel for the heaven coming to the earth. So this is saying, yes, the universe heard it. It's just deep and subconscious and, and um, not quite in your conscious yet. But the key here is flow. Do you see all this blue and all this flow happening? The minute you get in the flow, the faster this thing starts to move. The chariot back here starts to shoot forward. So the minute you get out of that analysis and the, and the mental activity and into some kind of flow activity, then that's a match for what you want flowing to you. And it will actually happen much faster. So if you've got questions about that, please reach out in the comments below. You're also invited to check out my website, trueguidancetarot.com. I love doing these group readings. I also really love doing individual one-on-one -on -one readings. It's a different kind of light and experience that comes through. So if you're looking for some guidance or you know someone who would like a, a different perspective or some things to think about, please check it out. And I will see you next time on True Guidance Tarot.